All right, so now we are all set up to do our manhole scan with the Panoramo SI. It's just a couple things we got to set up here before we get going. I actually have, want to go ahead and set my path again. So I'm going to click set path. Uh, I do have one in here already, but I'm going to create a new one. So I'm just going to create a new folder. We're going to call this M02 for the second manhole. Select him. Uh, I've got that highlighted, so I'm just going to click select folder. Ask me to confirm that. I'm going to confirm it here at the top as well. So we are currently saving in this folder. Good to go. Uh, one other thing I have to take care of with the manhole system is I do have to calibrate the gyroscope. So going to tools and just clicking gyroscope is going to do an automatic calibration based on the option I have selected here. So I'm just going to let this load through just a couple times to make sure it gets a good uh, sample base to base its calibration off of. And then once that goes, I'm just going to click close. So we're good there. Uh, you'll see I do have my cameras activated, so I cannot start my scan. But I actually do want to go ahead and drive this down to the bottom of the manhole so I can get a good feel of where the water level's at and I don't just run this thing to the bottom of the, the concrete or into some water and get us uh, all messed up on our picture. So I'm going to go ahead and take this down a little bit. This is a good time to note as well, I do have the ability to adjust my flash brightness here. So if we get down here and it's just a little too dark, I'm going to actually make those changes so we have a good picture of the manhole. Our scan. See, we get kind of closer to the water. It's probably about as far as I want to go. I'm going to give it a little bit more flash so we can get some of this top exposed. That looks good to me. So from here, I'm going to close my cameras. I'm actually going to set my counter to zero. Okay. And then we are going to start our scan. And we just confirm our pathing here. That all looks good. This tells us the last time we calibrated our gyroscope. So this is all good. And then it asks us for the manhole diameter. Uh, it's currently set to 39.4. That looks good to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and click start scan. From here, I'm just going to pull this camera back up, and we're going to see that these images populate as we come up. Once again, staying in that ballpark of about four, four inches per second. It's a good number to stay around. So we're about to the top here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click end the manhole scan. I want to note as well, we do have the ability to take a couple snapshots if we wanted. So a single picture of a dirt, dirt catcher. Um, as well as a chest lid. So that has, has the functionality there as well. End this scan. It's going to ask us to confirm that. Click yes. From here, we can open up our viewer file. Pop up the help menu. Close that guy. So this is our scan officially. You see, this purple is just because it was the last. We didn't actually get, grab an image here since we started from here. Um, so it only is displaying this first image it took from the bottom of the pipe. As we move up, that'll actually go away. But you can kind of see the manhole. This is kind of an uninteresting manhole in a way because it's not very deep, not a whole lot going on. Um, but once again, kind of the same functionality as the mainline scanner. So right-clicking at the bottom will take you down, or actually up, um, and then right-clicking at the top will take you down, and then just kind of moving around however you want to or need to to observe any defects or the the sidewalls. So once we're here, we actually have a couple things we have to take care of. So I'm actually going to take this up a little bit because we're going to take care of them up here. Um, I didn't do a great job because I didn't go quite high enough, but we'll be able to kind of mock this up. Um, I want to go to the panorama option here. I have to set my 12 o'clock position as well as the top edge of cover. So the first thing I want to do is I want to hold shift and spacebar. I'm going to close this. Shift and spacebar. And it's going to snap me straight across horizontally. Um, so I'm going to make this my top edge of cover. I know it's actually more so up here, but I just didn't scan quite high enough. Uh, that'll be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click top edge of cover. So we're going to set this guy. And then I'm going to go ahead and say we're already facing our 12 o'clock position as well. So we'll just click 12 o'clock. I'm going to click OK. It's going to ask we want to adopt those changes. Yes. And now that we have that squared away, we can actually go and create our IPF file. 
So I'm going to close this guy and open the IPF create function. And you'll see we have M02 for the manhole. It does show our distance here and our diameter of the pipe, all that information we kind of entered in. And then over here we have a couple different options. We want to make sure we have these selected. We want a high resolution IPF with the geometric data. And we do have automatic diameter determination selected as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click start. And it's going to start generating our IPF file, F is in fish. And that's going to give us the ability to do our um, cloud printout as well for our plot points. So I'll pop that open as soon as we get finished up here. All right, so now that is processed. You'll see we've got green checks all the way across. So we've got our film generated, our unfolded view, as well as our geometric data. So I'm going to actually go ahead and open up the point cloud here. Let's kind of show you what this looks like. Popped up on my other screen. So here we go. So we've got a nice point cloud here. I'm going to actually click orbit. You can kind of see we can zoom around here. Zoom in. Nice point cloud image there. Close that guy. Uh, we also have our unfolded view. So I'm going to actually click Panorama Viewer here. Launching. Unfolded view. You'll see we've got a nice unfolded view of our entire scan. So from top to bottom, we can kind of float around here and look at the entire manhole in one uh, nice linear layout. So it makes it easy to chalk up defects and such. But that is essentially it. That pretty well covers the basic run through of how to do a scan, how to calibrate your cameras on both the mainline Panorama system as well as the Panorama SI unit. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, we're always happy to help and get you guys going on the software. Um, and from now, that's all I have. So I hope you guys have a great day.